Hello world, this is what's up 290 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pretty easily block most of the uh, NSA, NSA or Microsoft tracking backdoors in, win in Windows. But for Windows 10, but this should also work with Windows 8 or 7. So, um, before you, before someone says this in the comment, no, this is this may not make it impossible for the NSA to penetrate your machine. But what this is is a script not made by me, not made by me, made by a website, some website called Winario, that will basically add all of Microsoft's tracking services to be blocked in to be blocked by your computer's firewall. So to run this script. It's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is just go click here and click it. Download block telemetry rules file for Windows 10, and then open up this zip file and extract it. And then just here's a, here's a um, short readme here. And then what you're going to want to do is just right click on add rules.cmd and click run as administrator and click yes then then just basically wait for this to complete and then press any key to continue and then that's it if I go to my firewall now I will pull up my firewall advanced settings. And as you can see, telemetry, which is one of the main services that Microsoft uses to track you, is blocked by my firewall and basically everything else that Microsoft could use to track me. But another thing, here's another thing you're going to want to do. Right, is open, go to your Windows icon and open privacy privacy settings which will open up this window what you're going to want to do by default most of these will be turned on especially if you have a computer that just came with Windows and 10 installed on it and uh, just you didn't even have to go through a setup screen if you did have to go through a setup screen then it'll have come up with this on the Windows 10 setup screen but But uh, um, just uh, what you're going to want to do is let's, is let's check some of these out. Let apps use my advertising ID for experiences across apps. Turn this one off because it basically makes it easier for them to advertise to you. I, I would leave smart screen on because all that is is just a program that checks to make sure that you're not running any malicious programs. Send Microsoft info about how I write to help us improve typing and writing in the future. Turn that off because I don't want my computer sending what I think that I write to Microsoft. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language. Let's turn that one off. Let apps on my, on my other devices on my other devices open apps and continue experiences on this device. I leave this one on just because it's not that big of a deal, but you know. Let apps on my other devices use Bluetooth to open apps and continue experiences on this device. Turn that one off. But let's click then up. That's about it. You're pretty much good. So, this is, I hope you enjoyed this. Another thing you might want to consider doing is, is if you're like extremely, extremely paranoid, but I don't think they can actually, I don't think Microsoft can actually do this. But you might want to consider logging into your computer using a local account instead of a Microsoft account. So that's about it for this Again, I don't really think you need to do that because I don't think Microsoft can access the files on your computer because you sign in using a Microsoft account, but, you know, I mean, sorry, I don't mean Microsoft can access the files on your computer because you're using a Microsoft account, but, you know, if you're super paranoid, then you can do that too. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.